Hello and welcome to another Facts and Dimensions tutorial video. In this video I'm going to show you how to query an Azure SQL database fast. As you can see on the left in Objects Explorer, I'm connected directly to the Azure DB facts on the Facts and Dimensions.database.windows.net server. There's the database. And when you connect it will be your username, user DB. And here I'm connected to my local server on which I've got a link server to that same database. Okay. Now, as you can see in my query window, which is linked to the local server, I am querying from the link server table, the Postgo table, which as you know, has millions of records in it, and joining the ODS all codes table. And I'm filtering so that I only have the latest on that, which will still be 26 million rows. And I'm filtering just for my local postcode IP5, um, which means it would only be a few hundred rows. And as you can see here, this is still running and it's been 9 minutes and 29 seconds so far. So I will now add a new query while that's still running. And I will copy in a piece of code I've written before. It's exactly the same as this, but I've encased it in single quotes. I've removed the links to the link server because this is an open query and the link server is set, is set here. So what this is doing is it's being told the link server and then sending to that link server the whole command as it is written here. And then on that server, that command runs and returns just the results. In other words, it forces all the work to happen on the server. I'll run that now. two seconds and this one's still running after 10 minutes 25 seconds I'll start a new query and on this one I'm going to connect directly to the Azure DB and in here I'm going to have the same query again it's exactly the same as it is here but rather than running it from my local server via the link server to this database, I'm now connected directly to this database and I'm running it. And again, it takes two seconds. Now, what I will now do is I will create a view on my Azure DB called userdb schema.postgoes example. This is a schema that we've given that you can use to create your own views by the way. I'll run that. So if I just expand views, there it is. Okay. Now if I start a new query and I query through the link server that that view that I've just made. Uh, oh sorry, I need to connect to my local server to do that. It's good that I made that mistake. I'll leave that mistake in the video so you can because people do that all the time, including me. Now I'll run it, so I'm now connected to my local instance where I'm going to query that view that I made on the Azure DB. Two seconds, well, three seconds. And still, this one is still running after 12 minutes. By making the view on the Azure DB and then querying the view, again, just like the open query, I'm forcing the work to happen on the server. That's it. Thank you very much.